favorite day of the week, Friday. Yes. Yes. All you with the nine to five business days, okay? But here at The Real, we don't have regular old Fridays. Oh, no, no, no. We like to start the turn up early by celebrating, say it with me, audience, Friday! And what's Friday without a classic cocktail? The Friday drink we're sipping on today is the Gold Rush, a mix of ginger liqueur, bourbon, and oh. lemon juice. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. And it's delicious. Yes. It's oh, good. is it? I haven't tried it yet. So, okay, so good. This is the perfect way to start the weekend with a splash of luxury, Ooh. right? So make sure you rush over to thereal.com to find out how you can make this cocktail <laughs> or mocktail for yourself. So now that Friday is as good as gold, ladies, let's say cheers to some Friday girls. Right. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Where they encourage students to learn more about employment by dressing up as the job that they want in the future. However, a letter sent home to parents made waves for banning very specific jobs. Now, the letter said, quote, We know that some children would love to be professional sports people or pop stars or famous YouTubers. Those are great ambitions, but so hard to achieve. Because of this, we are not allowing those dress-up choices. Instead, we'd like children to think of their plan B choices for future jobs. Mm. Now, ladies, is this school being real? I mean, because basically what they're saying is, Okay, you can't dress up as Beyonce. You got to dress up yeah. as an attorney or something like that. Yeah. Is that realistic or is it ridiculous? Well, okay, that's interesting. I think he said ridiculous. Yes. Pull that up. I relate this to my, my Asian upbringing. When I told my parents that I wanted to be a television personality, when I wanted to just entertain people, make women feel good about themselves, go through fashion, all of those things are not things that you could click off or check off in a college application. So my parents got really nervous, and there was a little moment where we had, you know, they got to let their little girl grow up, and I got to let them trust that I'm going to be okay. So when I bring it to here at 27, 2018 now, I trip out that there's still parents that think like this because some of my friends are some of the biggest personalities and have built a career um, off of YouTube, like Michelle Phan, the first ever beauty blogger, Vietnamese girl, started her own career because she wasn't really finding what she wanted to do in school. Candy Johnson, same thing. Um, and then I'm sure a lot of artists who really had a passion for singing but were told all the time you shouldn't give up school and I'm not saying saying you should do that but a lot of the people that made their way in the creative field that is not the usual we'd see are the ones that made their way by being themselves right. true to their true. passion right. they're not being someone else I so mean, actually that's the rule of life right you win by learning to be yourself very true very true. Um, I can kind of see where they're coming from by at least encouraging the kids to have other options. Yeah. But the reason for it is what Adrian mm. would say is whack because <laughs> it's hard to maintain. Do you realize how hard it is to be a surgeon? Do you realize how hard it is to be a lawyer exactly. or a law doctor? Exactly. But people still do it. I don't think you should ever limit a child's dream, yeah. especially right. when they're thinking about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't see a problem with letting kids dream. I mean, yeah. first of all, it's not easy to be Beyonce, yeah. But let them dress up as Beyonce. And then what they do is teach them, well, let's go through the history of how she became Beyonce. Yeah. Or let's, let them dress up as LeBron, but go through the history of how he became LeBron. I mean, let me tell you something. Lady Gaga said as a kid, she used to dream and see her name in life. Mm. And now she's Lady she's Gaga. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it didn't stop her. J-Lo said that she and her mom used to butt heads because she didn't want to go to college. She wanted to go to dance school. She was homeless for a minute. She worked at the Laugh Factory with me. And now look at it. She J-Lo and she dating A-Rod. All right. That's <laughs> And basketball star LeBron James said as a teenager, he would watch Kobe and believed he would be a successful basketball player. So you can't sit back and say, well, you can't use th those people as role models. I think it's a teachable moment. I think it's just a disservice that they're not allowing the kids to be anything that they want to be. Yes. What yeah. do you think, Adrian? I see you thinking over there. What do you think? Call me Debbie Downer, people. Prepare for it. <laughs> Okay. I agree and I disagree. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree that you should have passions and dreams, but I also think that you should look towards a career that maybe has a skill set. 
And I think that we should encourage kids that not, okay, yes, go for your dreams. Everybody ain't gonna be LeBron James. What was your plan B? I wanted to be an obstetrician and I went to school for that. And it's crazy enough. Remember two summers ago, I actually went and decided to enroll in school abroad so that I could get um, credits to put towards a degree. Mm -hmm. And I actually right now, currently, I'm gonna soon sign up to try to get a real estate license. But, and it's, it's not, it's not that I'm not passionate about what I do. I'm passionate about singing. I'm passionate. Yep. But I was always taught that you should have something else to do. Like, I get it that you want a passion, but while you're going towards your passion, you still got to have a job. Well, yeah. That is true. That's so a, sometimes I, it takes a skill set to get a job, to go after your passion, that maybe you can turn your passion into your career but I think eventually. A, a, a yes. skill, a, you know, being a performer is a skill set. Yes. I started out, yes, as oh an gosh. engineer, and then I became a comedian. Even if you want to be a stand-up comedian, you still have a skill set. You have to know how to yes. read. Yes. You have to know the basics. Clearly. Then right. you have to go out and you have to work, mm-hmm. you know, the different clubs, yes. get you an act. You still have to work. You have to really, really... What everybody needs, they plan B, is a hustle. That's what you're trying to yes. say. Yeah. You hustle. need a hustle. Yes. But you need something well, like, like <laughs> Judy always says, be an expert at something. Yeah. You have to have something that you can say, this is what I do. I am an expert in this field. I can do this. Even, okay, like for instance, you don't want to go to college. But let's say you want to be a producer. Like, like my lit son wants uh-huh. to be a producer. Yeah. That's your and hustle. so we told him, he's incredibly talented. But now USC has a, a, a Dr. Dre um, music class that you right. can now take. That's awesome. You also can now take engineering school. You can go to school to be a music engineer that you actually can have a skill set that takes you to where you want to be. Well, there are internships and stuff. I thank God. I think my mom, my parents actually did it right. I truly believe it is part of the parents' responsibility to see what talent or skill that their child has been gifted. I I believe every person has a gift that they've been born with. So my mom knew that T and I, you know, were big personalities. And the moment we said, you know what, I want to be on TV, my mom didn't say, no, 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 you can't do that. She said one thing, you can do that, but I want you to go to school as well. Amen. So while T and I were doing Sister, Sister... I got my college degree, and that was my plan B, and that worked for me. So if acting didn't work out or whatever, I could be a counselor, I could be a teacher, Mm -hmm. um, I could be a psychologist if I, you know, go back to school. Because you have a degree in what? In psychology. Psychology, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but I I also think that helps you with your skill set here. Absolutely. The fact that you can, when we have these conversations, you can have a perspective, and you can help us out. And we say, well, why do you think this person did that? You have a perspective that's very different from the other three of us. But what I think... Go ahead, Jeannie. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna you though. Okay, okay. So don't don't okay. forget your thought. All I'm saying is, in life, I know way too many people who went to college to please their parents or finished with a degree that is sitting there on the shelf collecting 100%. dust. I know a lot of people, more than 50%, are unhappy with their jobs and are doing things where they don't feel like fulfilled. They don't feel like their purpose is being planned out. So I think for this practice, it's important to encourage kids to live your dream to the very fullest. Because when you become an adult, guess what? You become embarrassed of what people think. You become afraid of the unknown. You become fearful. And then you don't attempt those dreams and you get older. So as a kid, if you want to dress up and be a superstar, you want to be Beyonce, Bruno Mars started out wanting to be Elvis. And it got him towards the path he wanted to be. Right. Because you are exercising the number one goal in life is to win at being yourself. Right. At yourself. So my end all is don't grow a glass ceiling in your house. There's already a glass ceiling in race in identity already in the world and gender. Don't have your kids feel a glass ceiling in their own home. Yes, I think you have to do what's right for you. Will Smith did say he didn't have a plan B and look where he is Mm -hmm. now. Then there are some people who just feel a little bit comfortable with having a plan B. So do what you want. I don't think you should judge people who don't have a plan B and I don't think you should judge people who do have a plan B. I want to tag on the fact to parents. And security. I want to tag on to the fact of parents because a lot of parents don't clue in to what their kids are interested in or creative in. Mm-hmm. Because I can honestly say, I mean, if, if we want to be real about it, I mean, I spent eight years working in a job when I could have been eight years doing stand-up. Mm-hmm. That pushed me back eight years. So now I'm the older one. You guys are, you know, seven, eight years younger than me. Whereas if I would have, like, 
tapped into it earlier, which is what I always wanted to do, but I was scared, I yeah, would be a lot further real. along. So, like you said, I think it, when they're young, mm-hmm. tap into what your kids really, yes. you know, if you Pay see attention. that they're drawing or if you see they like to play instruments or they're singing, yep. nothing's wrong with trying to, you know, manifest that as well and make sure that they get their, their so what they scary. call it, the rudimental, the rudimental, the fundamental, the, the, fundamental. The, the, fundamental. The, the, the root, the rudimentary root. something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But what I will say is, do you think there's a reason why so many kids? <laughs> this is my other thing. We don't glamorize how awesome being a doctor is, how is awesome true. being a teacher is, how awesome being a lawyer is. You know what I mean? And I think sometimes that's an issue too. We glamorize, okay, yeah, like being a reality show star, but and being like a, a, a sports star or having being Beyonce, but. The realistic part is, yes, they worked very hard to get there, but not everybody's born with that God-given talent. If you want to be a, a lawyer, it's going to tap into you. I believe that. Yeah. If you want to be a doctor, it's going to, yes. at, at some point in your life, it'll tap in that this is what I want to do. I just think we need to pay. We just don't need to knock anybody's dream. Yes. That's so all. Don't, I, don't, 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 don't limit, limit the dream. Or Beyonce than being a lawyer. Yeah. Why do you think kids, though, are choosing no, more so. Beyonce than because a lawyer? Because it's more popular. But I think where it's we glamorous. need to, as parents, it is our job to see, okay, I will tell you this. My mom asked me and said, okay, you want to be an actress. Why? I said, you know what? I really, I really like seeing the process of looking at a script and actually being something that I'm not for a change. She was like, good, you will succeed. There are people out there who say, oh, I only want to be a rapper. I want to be an actress because I want to be famous yes, right. and I want to make a lot of money. Wrong answer. Boom. Wrong, wrong, wrong. That's not <laughs> why you should be in the entertainment business because you're not going to succeed that way. You won't last. You have to make sure that it's your passion. And if it's your passion, that's when you say, okay, True. baby. Go ahead Back. and yeah. do it. That's great. Well, from dressing up like celebrities to being followed by them, radio DJ Jay Cruz of Power 106 right here in Los Angeles, who we visited, yeah. has spent the last couple of weeks desperately trying to get Kim Kardashian to follow him on Twitter. <laughs> Cruz, who's a huge fan of Kim's, decided to play a game called Kim K or Kalonic, where he promised listeners, yes, that if Kim didn't follow him by a certain deadline, he would get a Kalonic. Cruz did everything to get Kim's attention, (laughs) even holding a public rally to support his cause. Well, Kim finally noticed, tweeting, quote, okay, wait, I feel bad, you guys. Should I, should I... Uh, follow him or let him get a colonic. <laughs> Aren't they good for you? Maybe he should get one. <laughs> Unfortunately for Cruz, she was too late. So Cruz later tweeted, quote, never too late for the follow back. I did get the colonic. Man of my word. Dang. Yeah. So ladies, what do you think of this creative way to get someone's attention? I, I love you, Kim. Screw the follow, though. I personally love a colonic. Yes, I do. You do? I am keeping it real. And I think if I'm clean on the outside, I'm clean on the inside. Yeah, yeah. I, and, I do. And vice versa. Yeah, yes, like clean yes. on the inside, you go clean, clean on the outside. outside. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I think it's so, he's clever as a DJ to go yeah. for the most uncanny thing a man would ever yeah. wish for. Yeah. Right. Um, but I think it was cute that Kim answered back. Sure. I'm wondering, though, did she follow I, back? Well, okay, well, before Hannah, we even get to that, okay. I want to ask the audience a question. Round of applause if you know what a colonic is. Okay. Los Angeles. <laughs> no. Round of, okay. Round of applause. They're of very available here. Who here has done a colonic? Oh. Oh, Ooh, the yes face is a brother in the back. Yes. Okay, tell us what a colonic is. A colonic is basically an irrigation system where you do it's it's a it's a water flowing pumping system where they pumps, stick stuff up your butt and they water flow it into your lower intestine and your colon and you cleanse it out all the things you've eaten since you were a kid, hydrogenated oils. How long does it take? It can take about forty five minutes. Yeah, it pumps it you up. Hurt. And yeah. Your, does it hurt? Yeah. No. no. It doesn't hurt. It feels uncomfortable. Like you've got to go, but when you go. <laughs> yeah. You go. It's like a it you uncomfortable, it's you, not being done right. You can lose. I've done a colonic. I know. We're, yes, we talk about it all the time. Are you the only no, one that has it? No, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay. Fine. okay. Uh, no, but on. you can lose four to five pounds doing a colonic. Yes. Did you know that when John Wayne passed away, he had like 14 pounds of crap yeah. in his intestines, yeah. so a colonic never hurt nobody. Yes, no. yes. I, that's, that's, I'm fine with I, that. I, I so mean, he should have yeah. picked something else, yeah. maybe. Like, yeah. 
A clock is like Kim said. She's like, I kind of don't want to follow yeah. him because I want him to do this because it's good for you. Yeah. I promise Just you many- don't do it too much. Yeah. yeah. No, and it, consult your doctor, you guys, yeah, before, before you, you do get a colonic. One. Yes. Just I don't saying. think you can do a colonic on yourself. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, you can, can do it. Ready? It's called an, an enema, yeah. and it's amazing. A coffee enema. enema. That's yeah. Yes. That's, okay, wait, wait. So a colonic Rachel. is a machine <laughs> okay. that pumps water and is your... I've done enemas, but I yeah. heard colonic is like, it's you know, more an enema squared. Here you go. One enema. I'm sorry. One colonic equals 10 enemas. Yes. Okay. So yeah. one enema is something to keep it habitually clean. Make sure you like... Because, you know, what we eat, there's a lot of toxins. Right, yeah. right. You can't clean, keep it all that clean. But things don't always digest over you. And I'll be honest. The number one thing that Americans don't take care of is, is their, their gut health, their digestive gut and their health. colon. Right. And that's yeah. why people are brain frog. True. They gain weight right here. It's a whole thing. So it actually, if you see a person... super important to have it. a healthy <laughs> gut. To have a healthy yep. gut. Yes. So Google it. Figure out how to have a healthy one. Figure out if a colonic is good for you. Maybe it's an enema. Maybe eating more fiber. Whatever's good for you. Yes. If you need help, doctor. if you need help, ask me because I'm telling you, it changed my life. I lost 20 pounds off of it when I used to weigh. You more. lost 20 pounds. Yes. I'm getting a colonic tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. Lonnie, I'm coming with you. Lonnie, we got a two for one special. Lonnie, whatever you do, just don't get addicted to it, okay? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes, it is life changing. Don't get addicted to it. Uh, <laughs> 